Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about the Renegade Row. The Renegade Row is a classic hard style kettlebell exercise. It is a row from a plank position. There are three exercises you should be good at in order to work into this exercise. You should be good at a plank, you should be good at a push up, and you should be good at a kettlebell row. When we put all those together, we get the renegade row. The goal of this exercise is anti-rotation to create as much stability and tension in the body as possible. The most important part of the setup is the distance of the kettlebells. The kettlebells or the dumbbells that you are using to do this exercise should be as wide as your shoulders so that when you are down in your plank position, your arm can be a vertical strut. This is a classic hard style exercise. It creates as much tension as possible and it slows the athletes down so that they have to focus on good position. The goal is to keep the chest pointed straight at the ground the entire time. Get down to the ground any way you want. Two hands on the kettlebells, thumbs point towards the top of your head. When you're in your plank position, drive forward until your arm is vertical and your shoulder is directly over your hand. Make your feet shoulder width or wider apart. Wider tends to be better for this exercise. Create tension in the opposite hand of the hand that's going to move. Drive the same side leg into the ground as hard as possible. If I'm moving my left hand, then my right tricep will squeeze and my left leg will squeeze. I will pull my thumb towards my hip. Set the weight down with good technique, change sides. Squeeze the support tricep and the same side leg, elbow goes to hip. Squeeze tricep, same side leg as straight as possible. Pull elbow towards hip, create tension, set the weight down. Pull and set the weight down. There are three core movements that go into this exercise. The plank support, where we focus on driving our head further and further forward and straightening our legs all the way out. Keep your core tight, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Exercise number two is the kettlebell push-up. The goal of the kettlebell push-up is to drive our head as far forward as possible. Same setup, start back, drive your head forward, get down as low as you can, squeeze your elbows tight to your side, press all the way up, get down, press all the way up, get down, press all the way up, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can, do not let your core sag. The further you drive your head forward, the less sag you will be able to have in your core. The third exercise is our row, set up, Two feet pointed straight ahead, kettlebells close together between the lines of your feet, judo chop your hips back, put your weight in your heels, lift the kettlebells up off the ground, pull thumb towards hip, straight arm, pull thumb towards hip, straight arm, thumb towards hip, and thumb towards hip. Try and keep your spine nice and flat, set the kettlebells down with good technique. In order to make a renegade row more difficult, add a push-up in the middle. Set yourself up, plank position, drive our head forward, push-up. Create maximum tension, same side leg, pull thumb to hip, set the weight down, pull thumb to hip, set the weight down, add in, push-up. Thumb to hip, thumb to hip, push-up. The renegade row, or the renegade row with push-up, are classic hard style kettlebell exercises. We call them hard style because they focus on creating as much tension as possible in the body. It is hard to do them without creating maximum tension. That's why people put them in programs. Simple way to integrate this into a program would be as a finishing exercise after you've done all of your basic core kettlebell work, swings, cleans, snatches, overhead presses, Turkish get-ups, and squats. You could do an exercise like this at the end to burn yourself out or to create maximum tension across the body so that you get a better overall effect from your training. You can count reps. Five reps would really be five rows on each side. If you're doing the more advanced version with the push-up, it would be five push-ups and five rows on each side. This exercise is not meant to be super fast. It's meant to slow you down so that you have to create tension, so that you have to create stability, so that you have to create control. By practicing this exercise, you will on accident practice a bunch of athletic attributes like pacing, 
like control and like maximizing tension. Or you can set this up as a time under tension exercise. You can set up for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or 90 seconds and see how many quality reps you can do in that amount of time. Record it and then try and beat that later with quality reps. Where people tend to fall apart with this exercise is they tend to start getting sloppy and rotating their body to the side and not doing the quality reps. You can do exercises where you rotate to the side from the plank position with both a kettlebell and a dumbbell, but they are renamed something else. They are not just a pure hard style renegade row. They have different names and we will talk about them in different videos.